Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. So this is, goodness, what day are we on? I think it's day six of 30 Purple Inks, 30 days. So here I have my trusty little bucket O ink. And we're going to pick out our ink of the day. So let's see. Ooh, I picked out two. Which one should I take? Which one should I take? I'll take this one. So this is Pilot Eroshizuku Murasaki Shikibu. So you can see the little B right there. This is a bottle. So I will go grab that bottle and I will be right back. All right, so here is my bottle, and it's one of the little 15 milliliter bottles. I got this in a three bottle set off of Amazon, and I have a couple of these little three bottle sets that I got from Amazon. And if you look around, you can find a good price on them. So it's a good way to try out some of the um, the Orochizuku inks. It's more than a sample, of course, but you're not. Um, you're not obligating yourself to a full bottle. So for about the price of a bottle of ink, you can get three of these little bottles in one of the sets. So I think it's a great way to try out some different inks. All right, so step one is to ink up our pen. And again, I like to uh, Make sure that my pen is nice and dry. Well, got to get it into place. All right, and I tried to zoom in a little bit, so let me know if I've zoomed in too much. I feel like most of the time the camera is too far away. It looks okay when I'm filming, but then when I get the video posted on YouTube, everything seems so far away. Let me see. Now what am I doing? So I'm just putting the pen back together, and we're going to do our swatch card. So, this is Pilot Eru Shizuku Murasaki. I hope I'm spelling this correctly. Murasaki Shikibu. Mm. My handwriting leaves something to be desired, but it gets my point across, though. So that's what counts. All right, and now to swatch. I think the Orochizuku inks are generally pretty wet, but I'm not exactly getting that feeling from this ink. So I got a little bit of a double dip there. So, eh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, I will set Miss Murasaki aside to dry. And now, let me see. We are going to do some writing.
All right, so here is a close-up of the Claire Fontaine paper. And it looks like there's some nice shading with the broad nib. I feel like my handwriting looks a little bit better on the Claire Fontaine paper because the lines are a little bit farther apart. And on the um, Exceed paper, that 5 millimeter dot grid, I feel like I have to squeeze my handwriting in there. But, yeah, I think I'm starting to like broad nibs a little bit better now, now that I've been using them for a little while. So here is a close-up of the Exceed paper. And again, there's some, some shading on the broad nib. But with the broad nib, I'm trying to squeeze it into that little space. And it's just, it's just a little bit too big of a nib to fit in that space, I think. So I think the fine nib looks better on this paper just because I can fit my handwriting into it better. Okay, so now we are going to do our calendar square. And someone requested that I do the washi tape on camera. So I am more than happy to do that as long as you guys are enjoying it. Whoops. <laughs> nothing bad, nothing bad. That was just my uh, glass nib pen falling on the floor. But the cap was on it, so it's okay. Thank goodness for that cap. And I thought it was appropriate to use some, some lovely purple washi tape. So that's what I'll be doing my squares with. Whew, and I just have ink all over my fingers. But that is okay. I was struggling with sw uh, swapping the nibs because my scotch tape is not, I've, I've just been reusing the same piece of scotch tape and it's not quite as sticky as it used to be. <laughs> and um, the nib was really inky. The top of the nib was really inky. So um, I switched over to a piece of washi tape and that had a bit more of a grip to it. And um, Gus is snorting at me, but he's just going to have to snort because I'm almost done. He never wants anything until I start filming. <laughs> just like a little kid. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, well that is some lovely washi tape, isn't it? I was surprised at how much that sulfurino bled through the paper the other day because none of the other ones have bled through. So, and I, I kind of did two passes on all of them. So we'll see how this one does. Okay. So we will set him aside for a moment to dry a little bit. And now let's look at our swatch card. So, yeah, wow, I am really zoomed in, aren't I? So let me back up just a little bit. I'm nervous about using the zoom because I'm afraid I'm going to get it out of position and I won't be able to get it back. But well, let's try a little more. Okay, is that better? Hard to, ta uh, hard to say. All right, so this is looking a bit lighter. For some reason, I thought this was a darker purple. But it's it's a lighter purple, and I don't see any sheen. And, ooh, I need to go grab my purple swatch cards. So I will be right back. All right, let's see. So I will start with some of my lighter purples. Here is none assigned Haley's Comet. And I think they're about the same saturation level, but I think this one is a little bit redder and this one is a little bit bluer. Here is Monteverde Amethyst. And, whoops. I think that one is fairly close to Murasaki Shikibu. 
Now there is our day one ink, Twisby Royal Purple. And I was thinking that these might be kind of a close match, but the Royal Purple is redder, I think. And this has a little bit of a sheen. I didn't see any sheen on the Pilot ink, but I do see a little bit of sheen on the Twisby ink. Alright, let's see what else we have here. Here is Diamine Imperial Purple. And again, not too far off of the Pilot ink, but the Diamine ink does have some sheen and the Pilot ink does not. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see, here is Krishna Silent Night Sky, definitely very blue. I don't know, does that look purple to you? Should I have this in with the purple inks? There, there seems to be a lot of overlap with some of the blue and purple inks. Let me see, who else do I have that is on the lighter end of the spectrum? I seem to have a lot of dark purples. So obviously that is where my my interest lies. Hmm. Well, there is Diamine Violet. And that is a less saturated color. Like Murasaki Shikibu is less saturated, but this one's definitely bluer than Murasaki Shikibu. So not a good match. Not a good match. And let me see, here is our Day 2 ink. This is Colorverse Delicious Sleep. And maybe a hint of sheen on that one. But, hmm, I'm wondering, he's not too far off. So I think these four are probably my best matches. So what do you think? Which one do you think is the closest? Of course, this is our ink of the day, Murasaki Shikibu, in Diamine Imperial Purple, Monteverde Amethyst, and Colorverse Delicious Sleep. And I know the camera changes the color for you a little bit, but um, I'm still thinking that maybe the Monteverde Amethyst is the closest one. Because this one has a touch of sheen, and this one has a touch of sheen, but I don't think either one of these two do in kind of a similar tone. So, yeah, I think that might be our closest match. These two guys right here in the middle. All right, and finally, let us take a look at our calendar. We're gonna pull the washi tape off. That's always fun. Let's see. And that is some pretty washi tape. Have I ever met a washi tape that I didn't like? Why, yes, I have. <laughs> There's a, just like with inks, there are washi tapes out there that are not to my liking. Oh dear, it just tore the page. <gasps> Shame on you, washi tape. You're supposed to be very gentle. Well, I won't be using this one in my notebook anymore. Woo! Look, it, it took a chunk out of my notebook. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> there's, there's the line right there. Oh, dear. Okay. That's okay. He has had his moment in the sun. His moment in the spotlight. Oh, that just looks terrible. It's like the skin is hanging off. But, yeah, I might have to glue that down or something. That's really distracting. <laughs> but, anyway... There is our color for the day. Oh, I have to write the name down. And these are all really long names. So I'm going to say Pilot Eroche and Mura Shiki. And we will all know what that means because that is much too long of a name to fit in that tiny little square. But that's a very nice purple. 
and it is kind of similar to our day one purple but I, I think the Twisby Royal Purple is a little bit brighter, a little bit more saturated. But, whew. <laughs> Hang on, little notebook. I'm going to fix you. Okay. Well, that is it for today. Let's see. Where's our swatch card? There's our swatch card. And here is our naughty, naughty washi tape. Shame on you, washi tape. It is pretty, though. But that's okay. Pretty but deadly. Ooh, I guess I need to get all this in the shot, don't I? Let's see. Well, that probably helps a little bit if I move the camera down some. <laughs> Alrighty, well that is all for our Day 6 ink, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.